Hey, what's up guys? John here, and for the past six years, I've been documenting my experiences working with animals in South Africa. Ever since I started in 2013, I've been getting a ton of questions. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over some of the most common questions that you guys have been asking and tell you how you can have some of the same experiences that you've seen in these videos. So if you wanna know how you can do this too, make sure to watch the entire video for all the important information. And for those who just wanna see footage of cute animals, I'm gonna have a lot of that in here too, instead of just my stupid face. So here we go. The first question a lot of you guys have been asking is, whatever happened to Nola? If you're watching this video, I'm sure you probably saw one of the first African videos I made back in 2013. It starred Nola, this cute little lion cub who I believe was about three months old at the time. She loved chewing on things, trying to eat food that wasn't hers, and sneaking into people's tents so she could fall asleep on their clothing. Nola, how are you this morning? <laughs> Six years later, Nola is still there at the reserve, but now she lives in the big lion camp with the other big lions. A couple of the volunteers who were there with me, they have gone back several times over the years and they've seen her. And yeah, she is a real lioness now. I'm sure in my mind, I'll always see her as this tiny, cute little kitten, but yeah, she is a legit lioness. And it makes me really happy to know that she's still at the facility, still doing well and being well taken care of. And while we're on the subject, back in 2014 when I made this video, the Living With Big Cats program rescued three cute little lion cubs, Sarudi, Sarabi, and Sahara. I've made many update videos about them since then, but basically they were three little lion cubs that were not in the best of health. Sadly, they couldn't go back in the wild, so they've been living at the reserve, and I'm proud to say they just turned five years old. Again, I've made many videos about their updates over the years, so I won't go into it too much here, but all of these videos I will link at the end of this video. Next question, why do we walk with the lions? Lions are very social animals, and lions that are in captivity do need stimulation. I've mentioned this many times before, but it's kind of like when you have a dog. The difference between letting them run around in their backyard and taking them to the dog park and letting them just run around and be free. That's kind of like what the lion walks are. Whether the volunteers are there or not, the walks are still done with the lions so they can get out, enjoy just running around in nature in a big open area, and the volunteers benefit by getting to go along. One thing I will say though is that you always want to research the place that you're going to because unfortunately, just like with anything else, there are some places where the animals aren't well taken care of. But fortunately, at the Living With Big Cats program, these things are done for the benefit of the animals. Volunteer Southern Africa, or VSA, they have a few different volunteer programs, but the most popular programs are Living with Big Cats, Living with Cheetahs, Living with Orphan Rhinos, and Living with Elephants and Rhinos. A lot of you guys often ask, what are the differences between the programs, what do you do in each one? So I'll start with Living with Big Cats. This program takes place at a family-owned farm about an hour outside Johannesburg. You help take care of different animals who, for whatever reason, can't go back into the wild. You do things like meat prep, feeding the animals, building enclosures, farm maintenance, basically just kind of anything that needs doing around the farm. But again, as I've mentioned many, many times before, whenever you work with wild animals, it can be unpredictable. You never know what will happen, something might come up, so you always just have to kind of be prepared for anything. Next, living with cheetahs. As the name suggests, at this program you help to raise and take care of cheetahs. 
They sometimes have cubs, but the amazing thing about this program is most of the cubs that you see are raised by their mothers. At a lot of places that you visit, you don't see mothers with the cubs, but here you get to see it and it is incredible. But cheetahs aren't the only animal here. There are birds, warthogs, some free roaming wild animals, and other big cats like caracals. Daily duties include things like meat prep, feeding, cleaning enclosures, the standard things that you're going to do at any animal facility. Living with orphan rhinos. This facility is located near Kruger National Park, and here you'll get to work with rhinos that have unfortunately been orphaned after their mothers were poached. This facility provides a safe home for those rhinos and hopes to release them back into Kruger National Park after they've been nursed back to health. You work hard at this project. There's a lot of cleaning, milk prepping, bottle feeding. The baby rhinos do require a lot of care, so this program isn't for those who just want to take it easy and have a laid back time. It is a lot of work, but you'll still have fun, and knowing that you're directly helping to bring this species back from the verge of extinction, that makes everything all worthwhile. And then there's living with elephants and endangered rhinos. This program is truly special. You spend your mornings on bushwalks getting to see rhinos and big bull elephants out in their natural habitat. At this project, not only do you get a true wild experience, but you also get to do things like community outreach, working with the children and the people in the local community. And while I was there, I learned a lot about sustainability and things like that. This project is a true nature lover's paradise, so if you're more about getting to see animals out in the wild, that's the project for you. Some other questions I get asked all the time is how old do you have to be and do they accept people from every country? The age requirement is 18, but they have made exceptions for some people who are 17, provided they can get their legal guardian to sign the paperwork. While I've been there on a couple different trips, on one we had a 13 year old that was there with his mom and a 14 year old who was there with her mom. So I think if you're underage, you can probably still go if you can get your parent to go with you. They do accept people from every single country. It's not just people from America or from different countries in Europe. Anyone can sign up and go and volunteer. So overall, what's it like to live with lion cubs? No, that's not yours. Come on. Ugh. All right, come on. Come out from under there. Come on. Getting to go to Africa over the years and getting to have these experiences has been nothing short of incredible. There is nothing like waking up in the morning, hearing the sound of lions roaring, and for the times when I've been lucky enough to work at places that do have cubs, that's an experience that's amazing on its own. <laughs> Getting to see them exploring their surroundings and learning how to hunt and stalk, just like Simba and the Lion King. She's trying to get my shadow. It's definitely been one of the best things I've ever experienced. But if you want to do this, there are some things that you should know. Ideally, these animals should be in the wild, and ideally, cubs should be raised by their mother whenever that is possible. There are sometimes circumstances that prevent that from happening, and there are times when lion cubs do need to be in captivity. As much as I absolutely love lion cubs, I would strongly recommend that whenever you go to volunteer at a place, make sure you go to a place that's reputable, do your research, and stay away from places that always have a constant revolving door of cubs. Some facilities will have lion cubs at times or every now and again, but a reputable facility won't have new lion cubs every other week. No matter what you do, try to only support places that are doing things for the animals, more so than just for the tourists. Did you just pee on me? Ugh. Uh, you're lucky you're cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any other questions about the volunteer programs or anything like that, make sure to leave those questions down below. And in the description, I'm going to link more of the other videos that I talked about where you can get more information about the things I touched on. Make sure to stay tuned. I'm actually headed to a brand new country I've never been before, and I can't wait to show that with you guys. So I'll see you very soon with another new adventure.